Welcome back to the West Coast for episode 11 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So it's proving quite an interesting journey down to field 33. I have collected the header. Um, I was hoping the police were going to stop the traffic, but they haven't. So every now and again I have to keep diving into the undergrowth to avoid traffic. But we are coming up on field 33 now and there is a car coming. So I will just pull in. The sprayer has already been down here to give it a once over before harvesting. So I'm going to get the corn harvest done now. It's actually a bigger field than I thought. It was only 40,000. It's not bad really when I think the size of the field. So we'll swing nice and wide. Come round. Take the big ones off. Like so. Let's switch that to the header and get that open. Now I already unfolded the header only because if you've seen in my let's plays before when I've used the Massey Ferguson's, the Massey Ferguson rocks back on its suspension when it's open. If I close it now, leans forward, you notice the back dipping. So for taking headers along the road, I try and get them off the road as much as I can, so when I open it up, it leans back on the suspension, it lifts the header off the ground a bit more. I don't know, it's just something I've always done. It's a bit weird, but you know. Let's get that on. Obviously I'm going to need to get a tractor with a trailer to come and unload. I don't think the yield's going to be that great, because it is going to need ploughing and sorting out. But, at least we're going to get it done. And there will be some corn for the pigs. If I've got loads, which I don't think I'll have loads, I might sell a bit, but to be fair, it's probably better off just putting it all in storage. It'd be a... Uh, but it'd make more sense. Get it down to Stonehill Farm, give it to James for the pigs. Like I say, if I do corn again, it'll probably be for a silage harvest, so I wouldn't use this header again anyway. That's why I ended up leasing it in the last episode. It just made more sense, really. Thanks to everyone for their uh, lovely comments on the last episode. I had loads and loads and loads, and I do, do appreciate it. Congratulating me on 6,000 subs. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. So, yeah, thank you all very, very much. It's very kind of you. I honestly couldn't do it without your support. There wouldn't be much point doing it without your support. <coughs> Otherwise, there'd be no one to watch the videos. And I also remembered the uh, the video and the drone cam footage of the dawn raid on the on the farm. I didn't remember actually. It was Womble Way. Womble Way messaged me to say it was me and sent me the link for the video. So thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. hoping to get a rectangle on this and set a worker off but as with a lot of the fields which I think is brilliant I've said this before because I love the map because I love the style of it and the different fields and the different sort of you know the undulation of the fields some are on hillsides some are flat some are, you know that's what gives it that real feel the telegraph pole situation a lot of people hate it they don't like it because they can't just set a worker off with a big bit of machinery and plough up and down. Um, I like that. I, I think it's all part of it. So I can get around these two bits this side where there are... Uh, telegraph poles and get an edge then maybe I can set a worker off it's a case of seeing which direction the worker will go and then working out my rectangle from there really once I've set a worker off I can then go and get a mind you this is filling up quicker than I thought it was going to go and get a trailer thinking based upon what I've got so far I think the cramp trailer might be a bit better than 
Is it the aggro line up? I'm trying to think what the other one is I've got. Just size wise, whether I can fit with the crop in or not. working now, it's going to go directly that way. Yeah. Okay. So I've got a better idea now of the direction. Right. So if I do a rectangle and then all the outer bits I do myself, the inner bits the worker does. Perfect. I'll see you in a bit. Luckily for me, the cramp trailer was parked up the hill right here at Little Woolhope Farm, which is just opposite where I need to be. Didn't have to go very far at all. Now, some of you may be wondering why the big delay between episode 10 and episode 11. Whoa, lots of trees in the way. Um, I have had a few internet issues this week and work and all sorts of stuff going on um, so there's been a delay I, I recorded the first part of this literally the first part of this and um, then I had a few internet problems so now I'm back on it uh, so I apologise for the delay um, I recorded my first look on the valley the old farm uh, yesterday and <laughs> had a bit of a problem in that um, I recorded 60 minutes of map tour and my usual witty and urbane banter um, came to edit only to find that I had my recording setting to 10 minutes which meant that for 50 minutes of it I literally just sat talking to myself so that will need to be re-recorded re today. Hopefully it will come out today. Fingers crossed. We'll see how that happens. When I say today, that should be Saturday. Um, yeah, been a few mods out this week. It's been a busy one. Um, some of them I haven't done any mod reviews on simply because... So there didn't seem to be a lot of point. There are nice mods out there. Um, but some didn't really need to be reviewed, if that makes any sense. Um, the Fiat 120C I might do a little bit of a mod review on, of course I quite like that, but there's a new Safa cultivator which I'm thinking I might buy, I might exchange the Amazon uh, that I've got now, actually I'm trying to think, what's the Amazon, I can never remember the name of it, Kron, isn't it, oh no Catros. The Catros, that's a 6 metre. Oh, I'm just exchanging a 6 metre for a 6 metre. I thought this was narrower. I might just keep the Catros, actually. It doesn't seem a lot of point. But I do need an animal feeder. I have said that already. Let's get that turned on. Yes, I do need an animal feeder. So, that shall need to be done. Let's get that turned on, get this a little bit. Now, as I said a little while ago, for me, it was like nearly a week ago, but for you, literally a couple of minutes ago, I'm trying to get my rectangle. Once I've got my rectangle, I can set this all off and all will be well in the world. I don't want this just to be an episode of me uh, doing this corn harvest. However, I think the yield will be a lot better than I thought. That's 8,600 I've just taken off of it, um, and I should get a load more. That's kind of the plan. How did I miss that bit? Worker stopped working because it was getting near the telegraph pole. And then I kind of took over. So let's see if we can get that done. So yeah, weird thing was, um, in the week, the new Deutzvar, um combine came out. Uh, a pack with two different kind of variants. Same harvester, but... There was supposedly something different about the second one. I, however, couldn't work out what it was. Downloaded it, got ready to do a mod review. 
had my internet issues, came back a couple of days later, it had gone off the mod hub. Um, I stupidly uninstalled it, thinking, oh, well, there's probably an update, and uh, it's gone completely. So, yeah, bit of a weird one. So, there will be no mod review on that either. Very peculiar. Once this is sorted and off and running, I'm going to go and get the feed wagon, feed mixer wagon, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get the trail one. I haven't got enough money to buy the uh, self line, so I won't be doing that. Now, as you can probably tell, I have the Amazon Catros on the back. I have made a decision. I am going to sell it. And whilst the new Safa cultivator is the same size, it's a lot cheaper. So, turn the beacons off. First things first, sell this. It's not going to make me a huge amount of money, but it is going to make me some money. Sell. So. Okay, money's gone up a bit. Now we'll go and buy. Now, I do need to check this because this is quite a long one. But this is the Safa GE601, I think I'm going to be getting. It's by Vertex Design FQC Art. Um, like I say, I haven't done a mod review on it, or a guide to, because it, it's a cultivator, I, I, but you're going to see it now anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, yes, there are cheap alternatives, but this is only 13900 It's new, I thought I'm going to give it a go, why not? So let's have a look. No upgrades available, don't need any. So having purchased that, sold the other one, purchased that, I'm up on the whole deal, 110,000 in the bank. The harvester is still happily chugging away. And this should be... Oh, that's very nice. Sappho G601. Ooh, I like that. Nice. Very nice indeed. Right, uh, what do I also need to buy? That was what I came down here for, wasn't it? I'll come back for the cultivator later, but what I need now is... Trail Duo 41,000. See, I'm trying to reconcile in my head. I don't think I've got it installed at the moment. But the, um, oh, the other animal trailer... Mine's gone blank. The Keenan Mech Fiber. It's a lot cheaper. It's only about 16,000. But it only does 12,000 litres. But do I really want to be paying this kind of money? Another 20 grand on top. Well, I can get a much cheaper one. I'll wait, I think. I'll wait until they've got one in stock. That's what I'll do. I'll take the cultivator up now. That means I've got to come back again. I know what I'll do. I'm going to pop in, speak to the manager. They might have someone at another branch maybe they could bring over. Let's see what we can do. Hang on. As luck would have it, they've got one. Which is a bit of luck, isn't it? What a stroke of luck that is. Uh, where we go? Ah, oh, here we go. There you go. That's way cheaper. 41,000. Yes, it's a smaller capacity, but... Mind you, the old one, 16.5. I could have problems with that, couldn't I? I can't really take the chance. 22,500 is still almost half the price of the other one. So that's a no-brainer. Keenan Mech Fiber, 340. 
uh, oh, optional reg plates. This has been updated, hasn't it? This is CD models. This has been updated, and I believe it's got new and better decals on the new version. Optional reg plate, and the tyres have been redone. They've been done by JD7530 Chris. So, obviously, UK reg plate. I'm in the UK. And that's it. Bye. Fantastic. Oh, that looks sparkly, doesn't it? Look at that. This really has been updated, hasn't it? Very nice. This will do the job perfectly. Okay, right, let's get this up to Mountain View Farm. Um, as we stand at the moment, EP needs um, top mix ration. I think we've got everything we need to do top mix ration. So we'll get up and do that. Joe at uh, Little Wall Hope is going to need manure very, very soon because we need manure for the fruit tree. So we need to sort that out. James needs the corn that we're getting off the field for the pigs at Stonehill Farm. Um, I'm trying to think. Mr. Kinnan is working on the combine harvester for Old Man Fraser. We'll get down there, maybe do a bit of work down there near his farm at Clifftop Farm. Uh, so yeah, we we'll probably need to get some more grass, although I did tip the grass because I needed the um, forage uh, wagon for picking up the hay. So we just need to make sure we keep feeding the sheep and cleaning them out because they're going to need a bit of work. I'm trying to think the best way to go from here. So, uh, yeah, all the farmers need something at the moment, so we're just doing a bit of everything, trying to catch up with ourselves. Once we've cleared field 33, that's going to need to be sorted out, ploughed, repurposed, ready to go. And I still haven't put any seed into field 14 yet. That's going to need doing. So, uh, yeah, a lot going on. Busy, busy. Oh, of course, I've still got, oh, blimey, field 16 as well, isn't it? I've, I bought the potatoes. Um, so I'm going to need to do some potato harvesting just here on our right that needs to be done as well I have sprayed that so that should be a little bit better um, but let's get this feed wagon over to Mountain View Farm should put the beacons on shouldn't we Okay, now, I don't know if I can put hay directly into this from the silo. Mm. We will see, because that could be a bit of a pain <laughs> if I can't. That will negate the whole point of the silo, won't it? Oh dear. Now I'm really worried. Please work. Please, sir. No, no. Oh, man, alive. No, I hope that. Okay, problem. <laughs> Should have done hay bales. Right, okay. Rethink needed. Hmm. Right, I'll put the first two in anyway. There has to be some way of doing this. 
How can we do this? Let's get beacons off for a start. Stick that just here for a moment. Frustration. Where have I got? I've got bell spikes, haven't I yet? Doesn't matter about the wrap now because. Just get that. It's going to be going to the mixer anyway. So that's not a problem. Don't think I need to wait on this. I'm sure everything will be just fine. So one of these. goes. up there for a minute. Oh, I'll have to rethink this, aren't I? Let's jump in there. What's that showing for? Hmm. Hang on. Let's just check. Yeah. Oh, I need the hay. Right, okay. I think what we have to do is get a normal trailer get a little bit of hay, dump it, use the bucket. That's a pain isn't it? Oh man, should have just done bales, it would have been a lot easier. I think what I might need to do is take the hay out of the silo that I collected, that I spent a lot of time doing, um, and maybe just kind of lay it out in a field and then bale it that might not be a bad idea, might it? Just bale it. And then I can stack the bales up. That's probably a better idea. Plan B! Then this thing might need to go. Because I'm not really going to need it if I've got bales. I think I've got some grass in there. Right, trailer. That's what I'm going to need to do. See, I'm doing what I usually do. I'm thinking out loud. Trying to work through the problem in my head. But out loud. So... Yeah, how are we looking in here? Is this a bit of a mess as well again? Well, that's not too bad, a bit of manure, a bit of grass. Could do a bit of a clean up, we'll get that sorted out as well. Right, trailer, I do also need to go and check actually on field 33 to see if that harvester needs unloading yet. So, let's disconnect there. Trailer. Which means going all the way back to Hill Ridge Farm, doesn't it? I need to buy another trailer. I probably need one at each farm, really. Um, even if it's just a small one, maybe even a little Brantner here. Because I'm only going to need like 4,000 litres at a time to do the load, or maybe 8,000. So a small Brantner will do perfectly. I suppose what I could do is order one and get it delivered. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, what a plava. Right, okay. Let's go back to the farm. There's been a lot of toing and froing in this episode. Um, I am not firing on all cylinders that much, is absolutely certain at the moment. And here is why. I went into the store thinking, right, trailer, had a look at the prices. Brantner trailer was about 9,800. 
So fair enough, it's 8,000 litre capacity, I can get that, or 8,500 litres I think it is. Then scrolled across and suddenly thought, of course I've got the Massey Ferguson's, I can get one of those. So for 8,000 something, can't remember what it was now, um, I got a Massey Ferguson 110, which is a 10,000 litre trailer. Brilliant, I hear you say, genius. Until I started driving over here, and suddenly thought, hang on a minute, I've seen one of these already. Where have I seen one of these? Old man Fraser, ha Fraser, old man Fraser has one. I can't believe I've just bought a trailer and we've already got one. There we go, brilliant. Hmm. So I could actually make an absolute ton of total mixed ration, couldn't I? Do what I did on Drummard Farm. Spend some time off screen just making loads of total mixed ration with all my bales, and then storing it. That way I haven't got to keep coming back and making some. That's not a bad idea, I might do that actually at some point. But anyway, that said, straw, wood chips, chaff, hay. I'll fill it to 10,000 litres. Take that and dump it around the other side. At least it means I've only got 10,000 litres on the ground at a time, but it won't even be that. Because once I scoop some in, there'll be 4,000 litres already used, so that's actually going to work out okay. Just a bit, a bit of an annoyance, isn't it? But where should I put it for the time being? I suppose it's not going to hurt just sticking it in the barn because we haven't got a forage harvester to go in there, so it doesn't really matter, does it? We'll put it just inside there, out of the way, and then we'll just come and get what we need at a time until I get to the point where I do decide to do what I said, which I think will work quite well. 10,000 litres takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? Let's get that out of the way. Hey. I think the other thing to purchase is going to be a larger bucket, probably a 4,000 litre capacity bucket. I think the CS CSZ pack has one. That way I'm not going to be doing multiple bucket loads. That would be a lot easier as well. Okay, we are going to get some total meat ration done at some point in this episode. Let's drop there for a moment. Bucket. Okay, right. Nearly there. Very reminiscent of Bluebell Island. However, more modern tractors. I do miss those old tractors, you know. One more in there. should do the trick. Fingers crossed. Let's pop this down here. Actually I'll leave it on because I can clear out the manure as well. Let's give them some total mixed mash. <laughs> total mixed mashing. We'll give them some of that. And then at some point we'll give them some total mixed ration as well. Just hop out. The 
left that in the worst possible space. I need to leave this trader up here, don't I? So, jump out of that. Uh, we'll take it up this way, It'll be easier on it. Yep. Wonderful, and the chute is the side. Perfect. As long as I can get round here. Let's unload. We're actually getting some in the trough. Hooray! Good news. Right, let's just have a quick check. At the animals. Yes! Right, corn is nearly finished. I'll be able to take that down to the pigs for James. Well, we're going to do another episode. We'll be finished down at Stonehill Farm, probably. Then I need to do potatoes. That'll be probably the next episode. That'll be good. We're almost there. Right, maybe another load. Get me into the green on here on the cows. Get that pro productivity up because that's quite low at the moment. Productivity on the pigs needs to get up a bit as well. We are getting there. Right, let's... Oh, just bumped over a big pile of manure. <coughs> well, farm dog did not have to make a noise, didn't he? Let's get another load done. Pesky farm dog. Right. <laughs> I think we still need to sort out with Blue Bell Island getting some of the animals over, I think. Not many. Just do a bit of a, you know. There we go, that's better. Tidy up a little bit. So once I've done two loads, most of this pile will be gone, so... Right, leave me to it, I'll get this done, then we'll sort out the corn situation, because that can't be far off finished now. Ooh, interesting, look at the bales. There's doors anymore. Is that, is that fully open? Yeah, just seem quite tight, but that'll be fine. Right. And so field 33 is complete. The harvester was sitting very comfortably. All finished, neat and tidy. This will need some work and it's a fair sized field with a couple of pylons. But I do have my new cultivator to play with. So we'll give it a try with that at a later date. This is gonna go down to the pig farm to James for 
well, for the pigs, if it's going to the pig farm, then that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? So, let's close that. Actually, I'll leave that open, because that will leave that rocked back and keep that header off the ground. Stop that. Fantastic. And let's get this down to Stonehill Farm. How much have we got? Does that say 28,000? That's not bad. The pigs will be happy. How are we looking? I think traffic's okay that way. Probably got some more contracts I could do because some of the fields have gone through the next cycle. So I might do a bit off screen. I might also go around and collect up all of the golden nuggets bar one. Um, I was left a comment saying that when I open up the map to show stuff, the nuggets kind of get in the way, or the little rings on the map get in the way. And I agree, they do. It's, it's sometimes it's awkward when you're trying to show stuff. I've done it before in other maps, gone around and collected them all apart from one. I think every now and again I have succumbed and collected that last one, but I, I will try to avoid doing it as much as possible on this one. So. I'll see you at Stonehill in a moment. Now James has also asked me if it would be possible the field just here to the, I'm trying to think where we are now, to the west of the farm, the one that's got the crop circles in, does need to be harvested, or at least what's left of it needs to be harvested. Um, so I might get down here with the harvester and get him off screen and clear that field for him. And I don't know whether or not... I might get this straw here and I might bale it and have bales sat here. It was all well and good having loose straw, but I think it might be better off with bales. I don't know really what to do for the best. But anyway, let's get these pigs sorted. And then all they need left then is potatoes or sugar beet. So let's give them some of this. Wow, that was a huge amount. That's them fed, so the productivity should be going up. This will now go into storage to keep them going. I know there's a lot of it, but in the day, if I get more pigs, I'm going to need more of it. So it makes more sense to keep it in storage now. And this is the end of another episode. Next episode, I would imagine I'm going to be doing a bit of potato harvesting. Not for the whole episode, but I'm sure I will get some done. So I will need to do a bit of contracting because I'm going to need to lease... Um, some potato harvesting equipment because I'm probably not going to buy it, I wouldn't have thought. Put that into storage. Fantastic. Uh, but as I said, yes, we are at the end of another episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. The continuing saga of the West Coast and Riverton on Sea. We shall see what happens next. I might make some Total Mix ration tons and tons of it and stick it into the uh, silo. I haven't quite decided there either. Thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed the episode, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.